In this video, we're gonna learn how to publish our website as it's not published by default. Also, you're gonna learn how to boot a maintenance mode and coming soon mode, okay? So if you go to incognito mode by command shift N or control shift N for Windows, we're gonna type our website address now, which is our subdomain. We will see that coming soon screen and say now we need to publish our website Simply will be seeing your dashboard from here. You usually publish it from the WordPress from here You can start filling these data if you would like for your website or even choose not now And now it's asking you to install WooCommerce For selling online or not now. Maybe you can do that later if you would like and then you will be seeing that screen if you need to do other customization to your website before you launch it or even if you would like edit those data you didn't edit before or you can close that one then you're gonna see that screen and that screen what you're gonna see usually when you enter your wordpress dashboard and it's also customizable you can customize it from here screen options you can choose to hide any of these if you would like or you can even choose to close any of these now these are like notifications so you can choose to close them like this one as well and this an add we can close and also you get that plugin which is called opt-in monster which i really recommend to remove from your plugins or deactivate and uh, and earlier the and this one was uh and before we used to uh, and i recommend and if you're not gonna use it you can remove this one it's not gonna be used so you're gonna go to your plugins and open a new tab i'm gonna go quickly and show you how to disable those useless plugins and most of these plugins are installed with the wordpress and some of them are not really important so you can either deactivate any plugin you're not gonna use or delete that plugin after you deactivate it so we have the mojo marketplace we're gonna deactivate that one and also let's deactivate this one opt-in monster abi basically it's an email opt-in plugin but it's premium one not free also you can deactivate wb forms light and you will get a short survey that you can choose why you are deactivating this plugin or skip and deactivate and um, from here you can go to uh, the Elementor's Pro version which will be adding more widgets to our Elementor page builder. So anyway that's for unused plugins. I meant to remove them. And also if you have multiple plugins that you want to activate or remove or anything you can select them and go from here choose your action, update, deactivate, activate, delete and then you're gonna press on apply. Anyway let's go back to our dashboard. Earlier in WordPress, they used to insert a button in here to publish your website. But if you're not seeing that uh, button in here in your dashboard, you're gonna go to your settings, then general. You're gonna see your site title, tagline, and all that, your email address, and site language, which you can choose from in here. And also your time zone, date format, time format, week starts on Monday, and then you're gonna see uh, an option in here in your WordPress dashboard to remove your coming soon screen, okay? Now it's not visible because we deactivated our Mojo Marketplace. We can reactivate that because it's the plugin that's responsible for that screen. You can activate our Mojo Marketplace and you're gonna see it come back again, okay? And then you're gonna refresh your page and you will be seeing these options in your page, Auto Update Manager for Bluehost and also Bluehost coming soon page set on on we can disable that one then we're gonna save now your website is published and you can see that in uh, another incognito mode so let's copy our website's address in here and then command shift n and best command v then we're gonna enter and you will be seeing your website coming to life okay and I've added some new animations to our front page to make it even more static like that. And you know how to do that guys. And I highly recommend that you do the same to your website. Add some animation and make it dynamic. Now say you would like to add another coming soon to your website or maintenance mode or anything like that. We can do that with the Elementor in a very easy way and also in a very beautiful way. Okay. 
so let's go back to our WordPress dashboard and let's go to Elementor my library and if you ever saved any section before you want to see it in here and you can add a new one then you can call it coming soon and publish and we will be editing that with Elementor and we will not be going through those settings and that's simply because we're gonna use Elementor canvas we're gonna see that within our Elementor now let's go edit with Elementor now we will go to your menu in here and go to page settings and you can hide title and choose template Elementor canvas and make sure it's unpublished okay then we're gonna add a template and you will be seeing that coming soon template also there are pro versions that are amazing and awesome this one is so cool with timer for coming soon time and also there is under construction template that we can use for our website while we wanna make some adjustments or redesign any page or anything so in that case you're gonna be using that under construction template let's insert that into our template and this is what people are gonna see when you activate that one in your website okay and you can also customize it from the elementor if you would like just like we customize any other thing and also you can insert your social links in here for people to reach you while your website is still not available and we can delete that section and add another template and we're gonna be inserting under construction and same goes for under construction we can change even our background image if you want or customize your widgets the way you would like then you can save that and now let's go back to our elementor settings now let's go to tools in elementor and you will see maintenance mode okay now it's disabled we can choose from coming soon or maintenance so coming soon will be for pre-launch while maintenance will be used for redesigning your website or making some adjustments to your website and you don't want your visitors to see that so for instance let's choose maintenance mode and as you can see it's telling us that there is a difference between the maintenance mode and coming soon mode for the search engines so it will be for example for the maintenance mode it will be returning the http 503 code to the search engines so they know to come back in short time later and it's not recommended to be used more than a couple of days okay though for coming soon it's different it will be sending http 200 code meaning this site is ready to be indexed okay so let's try the maintenance for example and you can customize who can access the website either people who are already logged in your website or custom you can choose from custom roles in here either administrator editor author and this basically if there is more than one person that can access that wordpress website do changes and edit in that website according to their specific rules and you can do that by going to settings assign more than admin to your website or editor or author or whatever okay and also you can choose template so we have our template that we just called coming soon though it's not a coming soon we made it maintenance but let's assume anyway that it's a coming soon page because it's just for the sake of the tutorial guys okay though it should be renamed okay so we should rename that one to maintenance and let's save changes and once saved you're gonna see that maintenance mode is on in here and you can edit your template anytime and you can go to incognito mode and you can check your website and you will be seeing your under construction template we just used in Elementor, okay? So let's disable that mode and make it published again. I just wanted to show you guys how to do it. And I hope it was easy lesson for you. And I'll be seeing you in next lesson. Thank you so much for your time.